Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I took out uh, my second radical. Uh, now, you guys saw the video yesterday that I was shooting this radical. This is the one with the 12 inch rail, right, radical firearms. Um, and I shot, my best group was a, uh, a half MOA, right? Uh, and that was, I believe the half MOA was shot at 100 yards. I did shoot it at 200 yards, but uh, I mean, I was, I think I was coming closer to one MOA when I was shooting it at the 200 yards. Uh, so today I decided to pull out my other radical. I haven't shot this since like last winter. Now this one has, I think that's a 15 inch rail. Okay. Yeah, it's a 15 inch rail. Um, and I do tend to like that one better. I mean, other than that, the guns are the same. Um, this longer rail section here, I mean, that's if you got like extremely long arms, if you're like a six foot eight type of guy, you know, yeah, maybe you need to stretch all the way out to the front over there. But for most people, you're going to grab it. Wait, you're going to grab it right there. Okay. So, you know, that's where I got my little uh, anchoring point over here. Um, so, uh you know that's the kind of that's the one thing that i don't love about the rifle the fact that i got it with the 15 inch rail but it's, it's part of the learning process you know at the time that i ordered this i didn't know that i wasn't gonna like the long 15 inch rail or rather the way it really turned out is when i got this one in i didn't realize how much i like the shorter 12 inch rail so anyway um given that i've got the the half MOA group with that radical yesterday I said hey let's take out the other one and see how that does so the best group of the day and this one was at 200 yards right so shooting this at 200 yards uh, these three shots here uh, we got between the furthest two shots uh, we got an inch and a half okay so an uh, inch and a half at 200 yards I think that if you divide that by half, what does that come out? So I think what three quarter, uh, three quarter MOA. Uh, I am pretty sure if I worked at this some more, I might get the groups a little bit tighter. Now, um, I did shoot this. I, I shot two groups at 200 yards. Now, obviously, the wind was kind of pushing me a little bit to the left here, and I did shoot this with this one was shot with a different ammunition uh, versus this one. Both of them. 77 grains, but this was 77 grain uh, on target. Okay, so after 200 yards with that, uh, we got uh, two and a half inches. Okay, so uh, two and a half inches at 200 yards. So what does that come out to? That comes out to uh, one and a, one and a quarter MOA. Okay, uh, but that's tested at 200 yards. Okay, um, and then so I shot that with on target 77 grains uh, then i shot it again with the federal premium uh 77 grains and that's when i got at 200 yards i got the uh what is that inch and a quarter inch and a quarter group now uh prior to that i had been shooting this at the 100 yards okay and i shot this three times uh here, a second, let me now, I was feeling a little bit lazy as far as going back and forth, so I used the same target three times, okay? Um, so the first one that I shot was, take this blue paper out, was this one right here, right? That My bullseye was there, and I got that group over there. So this is now at 100 yards. So at 100 yards, I've got two inches, okay? That's a two MOA. Uh, then I, I I just didn't feel like going back and forth with different target paper. So I just moved the bullseye down here. Okay. And then I shot this group. So now at 100 yards, I got a one inch group. Okay. So we got a one inch group over here. Okay. At 100 yards. And then I said, okay, let's take a, let's move this over here. Took another three shots. And I got uh, an inch and a half, okay? Uh, so we've got two radicals here. So we got, I got a sample of two radicals. Uh, and they're both shooting very well, okay? Um, 
Now this, I think, I mean, depending on how you buy this, I mean, you can get it uh, for $500, although I think I paid more than that. A lot of that had to do with the timing of when I bought it. Uh, it was like back in 2020. Um, uh, not because I needed to have another gun, but you know, things were starting to quiet down just a little bit. Uh, not not quiet down, but it was like things were just like, I think it was like maybe tw end of 2020. I said, let me grab another AR because Biden had just been elected and I didn't know how things were gonna go. Um, so that's how I ended up with this one over here. Uh, this one over here was given to me, I talked about in the last video. This was given to me as a replacement for the first Radical that I had bought where I shot out the rifling after 22,000 rounds. I, I did a whole video on that. You guys should look up my channel name, Radical Firearms 22,000 rounds. You'll see the video. So after I shot out the rifling on the first one I bought, which I had bought for $500, um, what they did is I sent this in and uh, they replaced the entire gun with the exception of the receiver, the lower receiver, which has a serial number, and the grip. They sent me back the original grip because it was a, it's a nice grip. Um, other than that, they replaced the whole gun under their lifetime warranty. So the gun basically, you know, again, this is the original gun I bought. So, so that one was $500. I think this one I had, placed, I had paid close to $800 uh, just because of the timing. But uh, from what I hear people tell me that, you know, you can get these radicals for somewhere between five and six hundred dollars. So it's it's in that budget category. So uh, I think not bad. I mean, uh, best group of the day here. You know, and we're starting to see some consistency here with a lot of these budget rifles. I, you guys have seen me shoot palmettos. You see me shoot um, uh, what else did I shoot? Palmettos. What was the other one? <laughs> Ruger. All right. Uh, both palmetto Ruger had i got a half moa group on that uh but that those were 18 inch barrels this one over here was the first one that i hit the half moa on a 16 inch barrel and now this other one over here uh we're not exactly at a half moa we're like at three quarters but you know we're getting there i mean we've got two shots touching here with a little bit of luck and because we do have a little bit of wind today so that's you can see how my bullets are being pushed off center okay so on a nicer day, I think this has that potential to get down to actually hit that. You know, to get, this has the potential to really get a nice uh, group. However, on average, right, uh, with all these guns that I have hit, let's say a half M away or close to half M away, you know, you know, one of the things I'm doing in this video, I'm showing you that I'm showing you a, a number of different shot groups, okay? Because I don't want to just shoot that one shot group and say, hey, this rifle's always going to shoot a half M away. No, uh, most of the time, you know, you, you have a good chance of getting, of coming in at one inch, okay? Uh, I've, I've, I've gotten close to the, I've done the one inch or one and a quarter inch quite a few times with this, with this rifle. Over here. So here again at, at the 100 yards, you see I got the one inch group there. Uh, over here I've got the inch and a half group. So uh, really, you know, for, for budget uh, economy rifles, um, I think they're shooting really well, and again, we got a sample of two here. Um, so, I'm, I, let me tell you guys, I'm starting to see, you know, first of all, let me say this, uh, and I mentioned this in the last video, and uh, in fact, one of my uh, viewers also made the same comment in the comment section. The ammunition matters more than whose name is on the rifle, okay? So, uh, these, I, I shot this with the 77 grain match grade bullets. Uh, the ammunition is way more important than, than, than brand name, okay? So uh, I, I, I've done this enough times at this point where I'm like 100%. I, I'm actually very curious to get like my hands, uh, and I have shot like an Omni, right, which has like a palm or lower, okay? Uh, I have shot it. I've had customers, I've had it, but I've never tried to shoot it at some distance uh, with match grade ammo to see how accurate it is. I'm very curious. The next time I, I come across somebody that has like like an omni which is considered like bottom tier okay uh because it's got a polymer lower i'm curious to see what type of grouping that will get with match grade ammo i suspect it's going to do okay I, I, you know just because i'm i'm starting to get the feeling that uh you know these these companies that make the rifles right well the the machines that they that they buy to create the barrels and and and, and basically uh you know, do the rifling. I suspect that they're 
there's only a limited number of companies out there that sell those machines, right? That sell uh, the rifling machines for AR-15 barrels. I suspect there's a limited number of companies out there. And I think it, it, it probably doesn't make sense for them to, like, make, like, a really shitty machine to sell to, like, one company versus making really good machines to sell to another company. I suspect that they sell the same rifling machines to all companies, okay? Um, you know, uh, and, and I, you know, and there's a possibility that, let's say, like, if we went back, like, maybe 10, 15 years ago, uh, maybe some of these um, off-brand companies were maybe buying used equipment from years earlier or whatever. But I think that a lot of that older equipment that, that went back into the, let's say, into the 90s, I think a lot of that has probably been, been phased out. So at this point, I suspect, I don't know, I suspect that all of the older rifling machinery for companies that make AR barrels has been phased out of existence, has been retired. Um, and, uh, you know, basically these, the companies that sell the rifling machinery, I mean, the, it, it, I mean, it just doesn't make sense for them to uh, sell machines that are going to be less accurate. It makes it's probably more economical for them to sell the same machine to everybody that's going to be very accurate. So th that's you know that's what I'm starting to suspect based on you know having tested a number of these budget rifles, um, you know the Palmettos, the Ruger, the uh, the, uh, the Radicals here. I, I got to try a Smith. Um, see how that does. Also, guys, I gotta bring that over one day. See how that does. But anyway, my thoughts on that. Um, so again, we're just collecting information there, and you know, this way you guys can, uh, you know, kind of make your own decisions as to where you want to spend your money. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll talk soon.